I'm very happy with it. I think it's, it's a, uh, a great option for all the families in the state of Ohio. Elder High School principal Kurt Ruffing says about 33 percent of their students attend the private school on an EdChoice expansion scholarship. He says the program's new income eligibility requirements are only going to help more people. I really think it's going to help our, uh, our current families as well as prospective families. Maybe those families who felt like they couldn't afford a non-public education. Ohio lawmakers approved these income changes in the state's budget earlier this year. Families with household incomes at or below $135,000 for a family of four are eligible for the full scholarship amount. That's more than $8,400 for high school students and $6,100 for students in kindergarten through eighth grade. For families who make more than that, award amounts phase down by 10 percent. Just to put that funding in perspective, tuition at Elder is $12,300 a year. So a family who receives the full scholarship amount will have more than 68 percent of tuition paid for each year. We're really upset about this expansion. Julie Sellers is the president of the union representing Cincinnati public teachers. She says taxpayers should not be funding a student's private school education. The Ohio Department of Education says these changes could cost the state an additional $400 million a year. If they invested that money into the public school systems, we would have more money for transportation, we would have more money for teachers, we would have more money for curriculum and special um, um, educational pathways. The Ohio Department of Education's Colleen Grady says this program's expansion is not taking away from public school funding. So what is your message to those teacher unions who are concerned about that? The funding increases even while the enrollment for public districts drops. So there's no evidence that this is causing any financial harm to uh, traditional uh, school districts. Grady says private schools are not subject to the same requirements for publicly presenting their budgets, but she says all private schools participating in the EdChoice expansion program are chartered by the state and have the same operating standards as public schools. Adam. Chelsea, thank you. Now, not every private school is a part of the EdChoice expansion program. You can find an interactive list of participating schools on our website at local12.com. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.